I am Dr. Sunil Ishwar. I am a fertility consultant with Apollo uh, Brookfield, Bangalore. Today I would be just talking a little bit about uh, what is infertility treatment and what involves in IVF. IVF, the full form is in vitro fertilization. It is an advanced treatment for couples who want to conceive. In a layman's language, it is also known as test tube baby treatment. Uh, we generally do not directly uh, advise anyone to go for a test tube baby treatment. We initially do the investigation and see what method of treatment which would offer. Many a times, most of the couples would just require a basic treatment counseling. But there are certain direct indications for undergoing test tube baby. Like if there is severe male factor uh, problems like azoospermia or very necrozoospermia. And in female factors, there be a uh, direct indication would be if there is the tubal damage, there is tubal patency test we do and we found out that there is bilateral tubal block. In these cases, in these two scenarios, we would generally advise them to directly go for test tube baby when they are desiring for their own offspring. As we know, the conception can happen only if both male and female are normal fertility or reproductive function. So the causes of infertility is both related to male and female. We would say both are equally responsible, 50% each. In male factors, we do not have, we don't generally do many investigations. The first line investigation is a semen analysis. If semen analysis turns out to be abnormal, then is when we ask for further investigation to see why the semen is abnormal. There are no exact symptoms of any uh, male being abnormal until unless he says there is no, not much of an ejaculate or there is not much of semen being produced on the contact. So male, there is no uh, external symptoms or no external uh, visible signs which would say that okay this is an abnormal thing. Until unless we do a semen analysis, we will not be able to categorize that what kind of male infertility exists. Whereas in female, there are lots of investigation which we do to find out why the couple are not able to conceive. It could be uh, invasive and non-invasive. Non-invasive involves basically some blood tests, checking for the hormonal imbalances, thyroid prolactins, and also uh, a ultrasound to see what, how the uh, pelvic organ or reproductive organs uh, look and if there is any abnormality associated with that. In, even in female, there's not much of a symptoms as we can categorize to say, okay, this patient or this woman is n unable to conceive or has a difficulty to conceive until unless we do the investigation. Whereas the invasive investigations, we generally advise only when the, we try our normal basic treatment uh, modalities and they're still after some months of treatment, if they're not able to conceive, then we would advise testing for the tubes. Tubes can be tested uh, either by uh, certain tests like outpatient tests like hysterosalpingography or uh, sonosalpingography or even by a gold standard method of laparoscopy to test the tubes. If we find that both the couples are quite capable of conceiving without much help with advanced technologies, we advise them to uh, come for regular follow-up with basic treatment. Once we try uh, basic treatment for six to eight months, if the people are not able to conceive, that's when we go to the next step level of uh, treatment, which is called as intrauterine insemination, which we generally try for around four to six cycles. If in spite of continuous treatment for a year, pa patient are not able to conceive uh, with all the normal parameters, then we would advise them to go for test tube baby. But there are certain situations, as I already told, that uh, we may directly ask the patient uh, to try for a test tube baby. Few indications, as I said, was bilateral tubal block in the woman, or there is severe uh, ovarian uh, uh, insufficiency. There is reduced number of uh, eggs, which we uh, found out on ultrasound or on our blood test. Or if uh, the pair, uh, couple are in advanced age, more than 35 years of age, and desirous to conceive uh, as early as possible. So we generally do not directly advise uh, test tube baby, but our aim is to make healthy babies and ha uh, happy couples. Thank you.